Well, good morning, folks. Hey, uh, we got an approaching front here. It's coming into the Tennessee Valley. We're going to have two or three days of a lot of rain, weather like that. And uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to, to catch a big bass. Now, I love to target big fish or bigger than average fish. And I like to do it with live bait. Fishing tournaments for years, the throwing and the winding, well, I love to do that too. But um, for big fish, or like I said, bigger than average fish, I like to target these fish with live bait. Uh, let's go look at the biggest bass I've ever caught. Well, here she is. 14 and a quarter pound. I caught this fish in... Um, May the 18th, 1984. I was just a young bug. And I caught this fish flipping a 10 inch red shad culprit in Florida, in the Harris chain of Florida. If uh, there's a lot of y'all are familiar with that area there. Uh, using 30 pound test line, Andy line back then. It was a eight foot flipping stick with a loose reel uh, with an old mustad hook, the old style. Of course, we'd sharpen them back in them days with a file. One ounce bullet weight pegged with a toothpick. That's how we would flip those mats back in them days. And we'd put Vaseline on our worm. That'd let it slide down in the cover better. The old timey stuff. And I've been asked a lot of questions. What's the biggest bass you've ever caught in Alabama? Uh, well, the biggest one I've ever caught in Alabama was on Gunnersville Lake in 2014, and it was on a jig and pig, a jig and pig combination. It was, um, I believe, it was a little Strike King jig, finesse jig, uh, if I remember right. Oh, it was with a pork chunk. It weighed 11 pounds four ounces. I caught her in February in five foot of water up on a point. She was staging. Took a picture of her, let her go. But since, you know, for I've been fishing the Tennessee River for years, and I've caught a lot of eight, nines, and a couple tens. But um, the other day I lost one in a spot uh, area, uh, deep water on a live shad that I know that was better than 10. I could tell when she jumped. I can tell. I've caught so many big ones, um, not bragging, but it's the truth. Through the years, when she come up, I knew she was a trophy, and I can't get it off my mind. Well, these are perfect conditions to go do it, so come with me. Cross your fingers. We're either going to catch a big fish or we're not, but we're going fishing, and we're going to target the better fish. Come with me. Elmo didn't make it today. The reason why is because he's got a little old bitty sore on the back of his neck and it's sore. Nothing nothing major, it's just sore. Okay, let's go. Man, if y'all can see that boat right there, I skipped the minutia of the plan, which <laughs> really it's very important. But, uh, I've had a hard time catching bait. I have, I think, about two shiners in here that's worthy to use for a truly big bass. And I, one of them's huge. But now the, the um, gizzard shad has eluded me. The water is not the same color today. It's real muddy, murky. Uh, it's because of all that rain that we've got and all that influx of water is coming from Nickajack uh, and pouring in here and, it, and the water's dingy. And for some reason, my gizzard shad that I was catching are gone. So I've made about 100 casts and I've got about two shiners that's big enough for a truly big bass. Let's go on out here and try them. There's a bat. There we go. Pretty good fish right here. Ain't no jar drenching, but that's a good one. It's a spot. Boom. That's about the size right here that you're gonna catch. 
with these three, three and a half inch shad. Come here, boy. That's a little football right there. They just don't live long. Shad's hard to keep alive. Let's let him go. They're real hard to keep alive. You have to use them quick. Now there's a good size right here. And I'll just go right through the nostril. Just like that. And you'll give him a lot of freedom. Let's get that bait back down there. I got an idea there's a big one. Now that shad there is big enough to catch a pretty good fish. If one's down there. And I'm fishing about 12 to 14 feet deep. Well, I'll tell you one damn blame thing, Earl. Back in the day, if uh, you get a hunting dog and it didn't hunt, okay, hey, that dog wouldn't be at the house no more. I guarantee you that. That dog don't hunt. Woo! It's calming down a little bit, folks. I had to take shelter. There's a thunderstorm. Well, with a lot of wind, it wasn't really a thunderstorm, just a, a rain with a lot of wind. So I had to take cover now. <laughs> Woo, it's like big old swells right here. So I caught me some more uh, shad. Bait's been an issue today. If I had me some big bait, if I could find them, I could catch me some big bass today. But a fisherman does what he has to do. You got good days and then better days. There's no bad days in fishing. I'm gonna pitch back up there again. I believe I'm done bed again. Look here. Yeah, I'm bit. He turned it loose. Dead gone it. He felt me and turned it loose. He got it again. I missed it. Oh, man. Let's get us another shad out there quick <laughs> while they're biting. Oh, my goodness. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's about four inches long. Dry three and a half inches long. I'm going to pitch him out there. There he is. He was coming to me. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. That's a better fish. That's a little bit better. He hit it and was coming to me, and I thought that was current. Watch him fight there. Large mouth. Come on in here. Y'all didn't think I was going to catch you today. Y'all thought I was going to give up, didn't you? Quit. He's kind of skinny. But there he is. Kind of a rough looking customer there. Done bit. Oh, golly. Y'all see that? I about lost a good real rod right there now. I guarantee you. My hand is slick at kind of handling them shad. Plus it's a good fish. <laughs> Golly. Uh, I tell you what, I thought it was a little one. Look here. That's why. <laughs> God. Come on in here, boy. Uh, hey, hey, that's a good one right there. Darn good one. All right, let's let him go there. He almost caused me to get on back in there. Boy, in there. Let's catch another one. Now, I've missed about two or three right here for some reason. Well, the reason is I'm not letting them have it long enough. Need to let him have it a couple more seconds, I guess. Let's get bit. There he is. He's on it, and I got him. They're small shads, so I don't have to wait long. 
Golly, I love this. Look here. That's a pretty large mouth. Boy, they fat. Look here. Okay. Get on back here. Come on back here, boy. That hook out of you. Yep, he's pretty. Let him go, go on back. Hey, I gotta get me another shed and I gotta do it quick. I mean, right now, would be too late. I ain't playing. When there's it, when they're biting like this, we gotta get on them. Look here. I'm just gonna throw it in there and there's one probably done looking at it. You gotta draw their attention away from the wall so they'll come out there and get that bait. Still got some big swells coming in from behind me. That was like, hey, 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 hey. Boom. Okay. Just like that. That's fighting like a spot. To me. But we'll see. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, he's a little spotted bass. Yeah. Come on in here. Hey, quit. Well, we'll get him in a minute, folks. He's a slender spot. They're all built different out here. No doubt. Let's let him go. Go on back in our bass, fee. Now, this is what's coming in behind me. Can y'all see those swells right there? That's why that boat's doing like this right here. The wind stopped, but there was so much wind in that little storm, and it's just, gunners will such big water, these waves that just keep coming like that. Now those are just swales. scooby doo ba doo bad doo ba doo ba doo bad doo Woo, right there. Let's give her a try right there. If there's one there, he'll, He'll darn sure get it. That shad's acting crazy already. Because there's a fish on it right there. He picked it up and... Okay. Oh, no. I want y'all to look. They... Now, that's a, what you call them. Now, in Louisiana, they call these babies. That's a baby. Now, he's pretty. I quit, quit. But him's a baby. Let's let him go. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's see if this corner right here's got a fish on it. It did a while ago. Darn, them swells just keep swelling. It's like being out in the ocean. Yeah, there's fish done on it right there. Okay. Oh. Now that one's fighting. That might be the big fish so far of the day. That one's a little bit better. It's a spot. I can tell by the way he's fighting. They got that. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yep. Now he's putting it on me right here see there <laughs> that's a pretty good fish okay golly day what a pretty fish that's a chunk that's a little football little football been eating some shad fish come on in here i mean he's a short chunky little dude look at there that's a chunk i mean he's built like a football they let's let him go we'll see you buddy <laughs> good gracious there's the back uh-huh i'm gonna let him have it a little bit i done missed two or three there we go oh my 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 That's acting like a pretty good spot right here. Yep. 
Yeah, he is. My goodness. That fish is fat. Look here, what a spot. Golly, boom. Woo! It was worth it. Let her rain there, Elmo. Uh, quit. Dead, gone it, let her rain. We don't care. That's a pretty chunky fish right there. Let's let her go. Get on back in there, you pretty thing. Woo! Man, there are all kinds of fish on that wall. It's just like they're getting thicker and thicker. Look here. Well, that's the shad. He's fussing right there a little bit. That ain't no shad. I got a pickup right there and he's swimming this away. Okay. So I'm gonna do this to him. <clears throat> got that hook in him. Mm-hmm. That's another spot. It is full of spots right here. Looky here. Golly, boom. Look at there. That is a beautiful fish. Chunky as he can be. Let's let him go. Get on back in there, boy. <laughs> I got to get another shad. Whoa. One more shad right here, folks. That's all I got left. I'm going to put it right here on this corner. And hope. Cross your fingers for a good luck bite. I gotta get out of here. It's getting rough. Oh, oh, Buzzo. Hey, Bob, he have a blue tip. Y'all ain't gonna use the hunting in that shell. Hey, he he's a dog on him now. He did, too. Golly, Bob. Woo. Woo. Go fishing when you can, because it's good for you. Thank y'all for watching.